Bud Light, the official beer of NFL fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. This week's play by the 49ers to watch is a little bit unique in that it is a running play, but this is what they're known for, and they give you a lot of diversion, a lot of formations, a lot of different things, and I want to show you a one simple way how they do this, and you're going to see this play in some form basically within the game. This is a form of what we call the counter tray. Football fans know the counter tray was the play that Joe Gibbs and the great Washington Redskins, uh, Jim Hannafin was the offensive line coach, made famous back in those glory days. Well, the Niners use it, but they use it with some wrinkles. So if you look at this play, if you listen in the huddle, the play is going to sound something like this. 22 personnel, meaning two tight ends, two backs, shift to loaded right wing, loaded being unbalanced, which you don't see much in the NFL, U in, which means the U tight end comes in, toss counter 45, which is the old counter tray, OG double. It's a lot of words in there, but that's what you'd hear in the huddle. And I want to, I put two diagrams up there. The first one is what I call the pre-shift formation. The Niners will come out in two tight ends, two, one wide out, two backs, and they'll look standard. But then at the line of scrimmage, they will shift and they will move the left tackle, Staley, who's a great player, over to the right side to create an unbalanced line with the wing next to him who now steps off. That's Delaney Walker. And then the tight end will shift down into number two. Crabtree will go from off to on the line so they're eligible. At the last count, they'll bring Walker back in motion to create a power backfield. Now, this is the counterplay. All day long, they're running strong side. And if you don't overshift to stop the imbalance, they're going to pound you. They're going to flank you. They're going to move the ball to your side. So most teams are overshift the defense somewhat. So that's what I've done. I've taken the 4-3 and moved it over, leaving the end back on the outside. Now, what the Niners will do is they gap block this. You see everybody is blocking a gap. And if this tackle's inside, this tight end will come all the way for Laurinaitis. They want to get a bite on Laurinaitis and Dunbar by pitching the ball. And if the, if the linebackers are just focused on the ball, they're going to take a step in this direction. If they take two steps, they're dead. Now, you're going to pull the guard. This is a counteraction. They're going to pull the right guard. It's always the right guard. And he is going to come out, and he's going to block the defensive end. Normally, the defensive end will come up field because he's worried about a boot from Smith. If that happens, the guard will kick him out. If the end sinks down, then the guard will hook him or what we call log him. In the meantime, the fullback will come right through underneath the quarterback, and he will be looking to block the first force man, which is normally the corner, inside or outside the defensive end. He's in coordination with the guard. Walker, the tight end, will now come around and he will seal anything that comes back from inside out. Quarterback will turn, pitch the ball to Gore, who will start like he's going to run a sweep, plan his feet, bring it right back behind these two guys, and he's just following this guard. If this guard kicks out, he knows he has a kick out and a seal, and as Coach Lombardi used to say, he will take this play in the alley from that standpoint. So take a good long look at this. You're going to see this counter play from one form or another. You're going to see this unbalanced line. So watch this very closely and watch how the linebackers from the Rams react to it.